Terry Horgan is 24. He's suffering from a rare form of muscular dystrophy that has been restricting his growth from an early age. My mom used to go to school with me. I didn't like, like to do steps or stuff like that. I guess like I can throw a baseball or so. Threatening him with an early death. This is a tough disease. It's a forgotten disease. Sometimes you feel like you're all by yourself fighting it. And forcing his family to live with years of worry. Every year as Terry gets older, that fear and that knot in your stomach becomes stronger. Because I don't want to lose them. You know, he's, my kids are the reason why I get up in the morning. Kind of just deal with it and life goes on. Can't, you know, worry about it every day. It's hard to listen to that. It impacts every facet of your life. And it's very personal. And as a kid, it makes you feel very powerless. Uh, it makes you ve feel very hopeless. So Terry's brother, Richard, a Harvard business graduate, made it his life's work to give Terry and other patients with rare inherited diseases hope. You fight the battle that you're meant to fight, and you don't give up. Don't give up. Horgan created a non-profit foundation with a name that sums up his dearest wish, called simply Cure rare disease. The pace of innovation, I think, is, is just too slow. It's not right that today's patients don't get to see tomorrow's cures. It's a scary sort of battle to jump into. He didn't jump alone. He found Monkel Leg, a geneticist at Yale who also suffers from muscular dystrophy. Together with his wife, Angela, he spearheaded research into a cure with a gene editing technique called CRISPR. It could potentially be a breakthrough because of the CRISPR um, approach we're actually using. So what is CRISPR? It's a revolution from the lab that could change life as we know it. The cells take in the DNA of interest, um, which in this case carries the, the CRISPR components. You can change the world with this. Theoretically, yeah, absolutely. Acting like molecular scissors, CRISPR can snip a faulty gene in a DNA strand, allowing for a different version to be inserted, rewriting the genetic code, promising a solution to incurable genetic diseases and debilitating lifestyle conditions, and to potentially enhancing humans. Get rid of disease, change people's eye color. Once technology exists, it exists. It tends to only get better. It's also a unique way to address currently untreatable genetic conditions individually. Rich is determined to do things according to the book, only faster. Is it a race against time? Absolutely. So we're bringing together this whole team to provide checks and balances. We do the research, then we go talk to FDA, then we go back and do some more research, and then we go for approval. If the FDA approval for the trial comes through, Terry will be his own guinea pig later this year. There was really nothing out there for us. For me. Now since Richard is working on, you know, finding a cure, you know, now we have a little light at the end of the tunnel when two years ago it was all black. <laughs> I hope that Terry paves the way for others and that no family has to suffer again. Terry says he has nothing to lose but a life to win. <laughs> And this uh, treatment uh, could hold out hope for people with many different conditions. Sickle cell anemia, for example, Savannah, it isn't without controversy, but for many families, it is their only hope. Hope, yes. I'm so touched by his brother making that his life's mission. But, you know, what risks does this kind of new science and trial involve? You talked about some of the ethical implications, but what about the risks? Yeah, I mean, you know, there is a danger for Terry that his immune system could overreact. I mean, it is a life-threatening danger. So he is going to be a pioneer. He is going to be on the forefront of this, uh, taking a risk uh, for himself, as you saw there, but also, of course, uh, for many others. Uh, you know, Savannah, you look at Terry, uh, and he doesn't look like the strongest guy. I spent a short time with him, and I can tell you he is so strong. I don't think his family would mind saying, you know, he's the strongest amongst them.